Welcome to Catfish Farmers of America's 50th anniversary celebration. The year was 1968 and catfish farming was in its infancy. Small, unorganized catfish ponds were transitioning into a full-fledged commercial catfish industry, which was expanding at a rapid rate. It was an exciting time when aquaculture in the United States saw no boundaries. Farmers were learning and developing their practice through innovation and technological advancements never before seen. Catfish farmers were joining forces to establish organizations seeking structure and a voice to ensure long-term sustainability and viability. In this very building 50 years ago, Catfish Farmers of America was established. Catfish Farmers of America quickly became the United States' largest and strongest aquaculture trade organization. Then, as now, its purpose was to develop, stimulate, and encourage harmony, goodwill, and understanding among catfish farmers, and to promote the general welfare of the U.S. farm-raised catfish industry. CFA maintained four primary objectives. Research needs and priorities, federal and state governmental affairs, mutually beneficial trade relations, and identifying and tackling industry challenges. These objectives, established 50 years ago, stand true today. Many adversities have been faced and overcome through the dedication of hardworking men and women, all for the sake of producing a premium, healthy, and safe product for America's dinner tables. My name is Charles Bickley. My name is David Pierce. My name is Turner A. Rant from Sunflower Woman, Mississippi. I'm Paul Barrett. My name is, is uh, Rodney Henderson. I'm Harry Simmons uh, from uh, Yazoo City, Mississippi. Sterling Withers, CFA President, 1996. I am Austin Jones. Hello everyone, I'm Curtis Gavilla from Hale County, Alabama. I'm Louie Thompson, I was CFA President in the years 2001 and 2. My name is Bill Battle and my tenure is uh, at CFA was 2005 and 2006 as President. My name is Chad Phillips. I'm Joey Lowry. Hello, I'm Dean Wilson, Jr. Everybody calls me Butch. Hi, I'm Ben Pentecost. I'm Barry Kane. My name is Townsend Kaiser, and I'm the current Catfish Farmers of America president. When we organized CFA, we did not have enough catfish to establish a stable market or to expand the market, but we had too many to sell off of the back end of a pickup truck. So marketing was one of the issues that we hit, we faced and we hired someone who had been in seafood marketing for many years uh, named Bob Gruber is my recollection and Bob came down several times and we tried to develop a logo and try to develop uh, uh, you know programs to get out into the end of the industry and the other thing that we faced was research we really were working on was trying to get more funding for research for catfish the industry wouldn't about 10 years old at that time and we spent some time in Washington and uh, both Mississippi and Alabama have pretty strong uh, congressional delegations. Plus the fact that we had Auburn University, which was the premier fisheries school in the world, probably. In 1980, we were in the early stages of uh, the catfish business. Uh, we were building ponds. Uh, the markets were not good. We had to do a lot of advertising in order to uh, expand our markets. We sold a lot of the catfish live haul, where live haul trucks would take the fish to big cities like Chicago and uh, Detroit and sell them live. And uh, oh, we'd ship two or three truckloads a week to those places in St. Louis. And uh, there was a good live market for it, but we grew out of that market and we began to build a processing plant. In 1983, fortunate, we were invited to the White House to feed President Ronald Reagan, the Congress, and their staff. In 1984, we were also fortunate to exhibit and participate in the World's Fair in New Orleans. In 1988, we went through several ups and downs in the catfish business, but 1988 was a kind of a growth period, and uh, acres increased then, and then to the early 90s, we had some got it filled up with fish, the ponds and filled up with fish and the market was filled up somewhat and uh, in uh, 
But 91, 92, the prices came back and things got a little better right in there. Some of the biggest issues we face now were not present when I was president of Catfish Farmers. Our biggest challenge was, was marketing and supplying the people that liked the product that we were producing. To me, that was the biggest issue at that in 97 that we were, you know, we were trying to, we were trying to address production problems. In 96, we were uh, back to growing. We had just come through a shakeout in the early 90s. It lasted maybe a couple of years and the industry was uh, starting to grow again. Uh, TCI was uh, about 10 years old and they were really doing a good job, uh, you know, getting the, all the feed mills were on board and uh, the um, advertising budgets were raising and uh, the, my tenure was pretty, uh, uh, in a growth period, uh, we, were, we were starting to expand again. The fluctuation in the Pineback price was the biggest problem most farmers had back then. It would, you would get a, one year it would be a good price and the next year you wouldn't get anything, you'd be losing money. There's no solution to it, it was, it was pure uh, supply and demand and uh, of course the farmers thought that the processors ought to sell more fish and be more aggressive selling fish, open new markets and stuff and, the, and I guess the processors thought we ought to cut back on our, our, our production a little bit and probably true enough it probably should have been a combination of both. I was president of CFA in 1999 and 2000 and uh, that was the beginning of the onslaught of foreign fish primarily from Vietnam. A group of about 15 of us got together and decided we wanted to go to Vietnam to see how they were raising the fish, processing the fish, and sending them over here to us. And while we were there we also took a week and went over to China and, and looked at their fish operations. When we, re we returned to the United States, we used the information that we gathered on that trip to help in the anti-dumping lawsuit that we placed with the U.S. government. It, that resulted in a five-year tariff that assisted us uh, in, the, in recovery from the, the low prices. In 2001 and two, we were nearing the peak of our production in the catfish business. Um, and we're beginning to see the effects of imported fish coming from outside the, the country and beginning to start the fight to, to uh, reduce that. Five and six were, uh, you know, they weren't the boom years, but they were, they were somewhat stable. But like I said, it, it's, it's a cyclical business. It's up and down and, and the cycles used to be further apart than they are now. It, we'd go through a 10 year cycle of of good, uh, good prices and good production, maybe a two-year cycle of, of down that would take a lot of people out. I had the uh, dubious pleasure of serving during a period of very high fish, uh, very high feed prices and very low fish prices or falling fish prices. So industry, uh, we were during a period of decline uh, and that made for some very difficult meetings sometimes. Tough issues to, to address. There was a lot of tension in the industry at that time. It, it, was, it was pretty tough. That prompted the industry probably to come together more than it ever has. Uh, we started to play offense for once. Uh, the uh, inspection program had been passed in the farm bill, but nothing was ever done with it. So the industry came together and made a effort to get it in front of our lawmakers and, and make it happen. When I became CFA president, we were in a down cycle in our industry, and uh, the imports, foreign imports were killing us, and our industry shrunk by about 50 percent, and so I felt like my challenge as president was to try to abate that any way I could, and uh, thankfully with the help of all of our other producers and Roger Barlow and CFA, we uh, at least... Uh, slowed it down. At the time I was president, uh, prices had swung back to where they were over a dollar a pound and uh, those farmers that had weathered the storm uh, were doing well at that time. We made a lot of trips to Washington during that time. One year I went uh, three trips and uh, we, we got a lot accomplished on the industry's behalf. 
The challenges uh, that we experienced during my two years uh, were primarily concerning getting away from FDA and uh, having USDA in charge of the catfish industry as it is most other meats. And um, uh, I think we've about got that worked out and I think it'll be a big plus for the industry. As being CFA's president, I have enjoyed getting to meet more and more farmers from our industry, not just in Alabama, but all over in Mississippi and Arkansas and Louisiana. I see a lot of young faces in the industry and that's encouraging as we want to move forward. For a long time, there were no young people in catfish and now there are a whole lot more than I've ever seen. We have a good demand and we have a good product and now I'm looking forward to seeing that continue to grow. I'm a third generation fish farmer and I hope that one day some of my children or nieces will be a fourth generation fish farmer. We appreciate the insight, wisdom, and personal sacrifice of these past and current CFA presidents and their board of directors. We look forward to the future leadership of Catfish Farmers of America who through the CFA Young Farmer Leadership Program are already actively involved in meeting the future needs of this great organization. I think the catfish industry is still an exciting industry and I, I wish it, that even though we don't, I no longer raise catfish, I wish the very best for the industry. I wish the catfish industry the best in the future. I hope they last another 50 years or better. Uh, we've had our ups and downs, but still feel like there's a tremendous future for uh, catfish farming in this country. I just want to congratulate the industry for being here for 50 years and uh, looking forward to seeing it go another 50. You know, a lot of us probably won't be around, but uh, hopefully we built a strong enough foundation to, to keep this, keep the ball rolling. Wish you well and good luck in the future and hope we all make a pile of money. <laughs> oh, well, I just wish the best to all of the present officers that are there now. Uh, I've known most of them I, oh, since I've retired, but there are some new ones that have gotten in. And I just wish you the best and just wish you well for another, another 50 years. You've got a good product. It's not going anywhere. And uh, just keep increasing the awareness of it and get people to consume more of it. If they all consume as much as I do, you couldn't grow enough. Congratulations, Catfish Farmers of America, for your 50 years of service.